Hey guys, just a quick look at my new Rattel RT920 VHF UHF portable transceiver. This is the color display transceiver. The, the display or the screen is somehow shifted, is not straight, so maybe check control has failed on this radio, but okay, don't worry. Actually, this is a little bit thicker than the Quancheng UVK5 radio because of the wider battery or bigger battery. The battery is 2200 milliamp hour LiPo battery inside. Downsize of this module is that the USB charging port is placed on the bottom of the radio. Not very practical side because when you want to charge this radio with the USB-C charger, you need to lay this radio down on the desk, not in straight up position. The radio has, as you can see, two PTT buttons on the side, the button number two and also button number three are programmable buttons. The radio has two VFOs, and you can change it with the memory mode and also VFO mode. In the VFO mode, we can find different bands. This is the CB band, also 54 megahertz, six meter band, FM radio band, two meter band, and 20 or 220 megahertz band, 350 megahertz band, and 70 centimeter band. The manufacturer declares that there is a very good sensitivity on the CB band. On top of the radio, we can also find this uh, SMA female socket. So I presume that this radio is able to receive short waves. Also, this dual band VHF UHF antenna. It's different than the other Rattels radios or even Quancheng radio. Here you can see also the volume knob. And that's it actually. This radio looks pretty good from the front but I don't know it's too big into my hand I, I was I suppose. The radio is 10 watt radio and that's the reason why manufacturer use it this bigger battery on the back of course that makes sense the menu is somehow different there is a button for it if you go to menu and using the arrow buttons you can set different features and you can see also the dot right next to the feature uh, you need to enter into the menu or the setting and with the arrow button you just select the feature you want. Anyways, uh, the radio has printed the features also on the keyboard. So short press on the keyboard you just enter the frequency. You see? And if you hold the key, I don't know, maybe dual watch, hold the key, the dual watch, as you can see, will be called out from the menu. So this is a shortcut, actually. That's a good feature. And you can also see them on the keyboard. They are not hided. So that's the quick look. Yeah, the positive thing on the radio is also this flipping cover which is pretty good when you can flip this cover to the side not to the to the lower side of this window and the very good thing is that the classic Kenwood uh, dual connector is used in this radio there is no Motorola so hope that you like this video and uh, Leave me a comment, maybe your opinions 
on this radio. Maybe next uh, video will be a little more focus on the features inside, maybe short waves listening and, and so forth. 7.3 and thanks for watching.